Hello, and welcome to the Fox Games channel. My name is Jacob, and I'm here to introduce my 1991 Ford Mustang convertible. Well, here she is, guys. On all her beauty here. I've been getting a lot of DMs and questions about her, the setup and all that good jazz and I wanted to go ahead and decide to give the people what they want give them a video so just a quick background story about her I got her as a graduation gift from my father she's been in the family for about 17 years 10 of those years have been in my possession of course she didn't look like this not as clean of course but just stock 5.0 with an AOD it's nothing special but she did what she needed to do. And for many years, she was my daily driver. Rain, cold, hot. She was reliable. She got me where I needed to go. But now she's just a weekend car. So I want to give you guys an introduction. And let you guys know, you know. What she's about i'm going to start off with the exterior kind of point out a couple of things i've done exterior to the car and then we'll move on to the interior uh, let's start off first off with the hood here i went with a fiber trends two inch cow hood and with this cow hood i decided to go with this one in particular is because of this little area right here when it comes down, most cow hoods come out straight as an angle. This one contours a little bit more. So I felt like that gave the car a more complimented look. Now the second thing I decided to go with on the car was a Maker's Garage front lip. Of course, this is not what I started with originally. I did the regular Mach 1 lip and it was pretty good. I did what it needed to do, but after going with the Maker's Garage, night and day difference, definitely would do it again from the beginning. Now, the next thing I would want to point out, I went with this, the Saline SC wheels. These are the replicas from SVE. 17 by eights in the front, 17 by tens in the rear. Have the Continental Extreme Contact DW06 Plus for the fronts, and I'm running the Nitto 555R2 drag radios. These are fairly new from Nitto, not to be confused with the old NT05s, but definitely these are hooking and booking for what I got. One of the next mods I did in the rear was a, you can see I don't have a luggage rack anymore. So I went with a fiberglass, fiber trends deck lid and I'll tell you, it's very lightweight compared to the luggage rack. I would say I think the luggage rack weighed, the trunk lid with the luggage rack weighed about 75 pounds and this is going like 10 to 15 pounds. Big difference, especially important on convertibles since they are the heaviest out of the Fox bodies, unfortunately, but doesn't beat having to drive with the top down. And as you can see, it is a white top. She's a little rough. It's still the original top here. I'm gonna get it redone pretty soon. It leaks, of course. But as you see, it's white. Uh, from some of you that do know, maybe you'll get it. Ice Ice Baby, Vanilla Ice. If you had, haven't had a chance to take a look at his 5.0, it's pretty clean and I like it. Very well done, tastefully done. So now let's move into the interior of the car. I'll show you what I got going on there. mess 
Uh, as you can see, it is porno red interior from the factory. Nothing special. Still everything pretty stock. The only thing I've done is these white face gauges. They're just overlays with blue LEDs in the rear. And I'm pretty sure if you guys can see here, I have my Holly system. I got a nice MGW shifter here. Great upgrade for you uh, stick shift guys. Definitely recommend it. I'm currently running a Tremec 3550 and it seems to be holding up to the power I'm making. So far, so good. I do not have the headliner, but that's something that came in the 1993 convertibles only that year model. And I'm looking to go ahead and probably install that myself aftermarket just to kind of quiet it down inside because it is pretty noisy in here. It's kind of my goal. I kind of want to make it a nice cruiser just so I can go out, have fun, and still be able to ride around AC and everything, which it still has. Unfortunately, I still got to wire it up for my Holly system since I took out the stock computer. But as far as the interior goes, that's pretty much it. So, well, guys, I appreciate everybody who's made it to this part of the video. I'm super grateful. I'm excited to bring you guys new content, kind of jumping out of my shell, but in a hey, as they say, if it gives you, makes you scared, that's what you should do. All right, I just want to thank everybody who's made it to this part of the video. I am highly grateful for you guys making it to this part, and I appreciate you guys coming in. Now, what to expect from the channel? I'm looking to bring you guys plenty of box body content, fun runs in Mexico, meets, reaction videos, and anything box body related as far as like all my trials and tribulations. I'll bring you guys along, and anything specifically for convertible box bodies because there's I know there's not too much content out there about that. So I definitely want to bring that out there to share what I've learned so far with you. Owning a convertible Fox Mustang. Well, guys, this is your boy Fox Gaines signing out. Stay vibrant out there. Stay safe. Cool.